Mechanic Land Cadets. Today we have a blade that is just a manual blade and I'm going to show you how to convert it into a hydraulic angle and how to do it if you have some extra Cub Cadet parts. Now I have the cylinder I use and every blade that I convert it to. I pre-made this. I saw it on the floor a long time ago and I thought I can make this I had a 782 diesel and I wanted to make a power angle blade for it. So I saw this cylinder. This cylinder is, this one here is out of a 149, but this one here is out of a 1650. And I just had them on the floor ready for sale. And I thought, you know, I think that bracket will fit right in to an angle blade. Well, about an hour and so later, I made it work. And I'm gonna show you how to do it and make a power angle blade with very little effort, make it very quickly. So what I did is, I realized that these holes, none of them will have to be re-drilled. You just have to cut off right here, this angle right here, so it goes around in this area on your hitch portion of your blade. And you can actually use the same bolts that you've taken out of your machine to install. Now I use regular grade eight PAI bolts. I just prefer a grade eight in it. So if I run into a pile or I'm moving dirt that it won't bust them quite as quick. Now at the end of the video, I'll tell you the hydraulic lines and how I made them uh, and what length I made them. But it came down to how I was going to make it so the end of the cylinder, what it attaches to. And what I mean by what it attaches to is like this right here. Now you're going to laugh, but I took this out of an 1811 782 on the hydraulic cylinder that goes underneath the tunnel cover. And what I did is I cut notched it right there and right there. Welded it right in right there. So you do need a welder and you need a drill, but right here I welded it right in. A very quick idea, as you can see, it goes right in here, just like that. You have your grease fitting and everything, you're all set to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this one right here. Now every blade I have come in, I convert them so they'll go hydraulic. But I'm gonna show you how I did it by installing it. Now this hole right here is already in your blade from the factory angle right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a bolt through there. I'm gonna tighten it up pretty good. Then what you do is from the back side, you drill your first hole right there. And then you drill your next. You put your bolts in. Now, everyone has a lot of cup cadets. If you're into the cup cadet collecting and stuff, you have these parts machines. Or not, just go to a salvage yard that has them. Pick them right up. That cylinder, they're not going to charge you very much for it. The hydraulic lines are probably going to cost you the most of anything. And let's take your... All right. And right there you have factory blade with a... <laughs> 
tucked right in underneath your, your blade. And usually, if you have like a 18, uh, 11, 18, 20, you put your, um, your hydraulics on like this. Now, if you have a large frame, you're gonna put them on this side. Usually they ran them on the left side instead of the right. But one hose, I made 24 inches in length. The longer hose is 26. And that'll give you plenty of length. It'll make it a quick angle blade. And boy, does it save time. It just makes your job so much easier. Now, just remember, after you get done making that, you either have to put some washers underneath your angle, or you just have to take your pin out. And right there is your pin. Because your main king pin on your plow is down there. So that pin has to go, or it won't power angle. But that's the finished product, and that's how you make it work very rapidly. It's just a quick thing that I learned and I love to share my st the stuff that I uh, did over the years and made work. And it'll work for you and it'll be bulletproof. Thank you very much for tuning in to MacLane Cadets. We'll see you on the next video.